welcome back to my youtube channel the lot to african fashion and styles this morning my heart is filled with thanksgiving i'm overwhelmed i'm so happy december is here again oh my god i say thank you 2020 is gradually rolling away to the glory of god we shouldn't forget in the hurry all that we went through from january to december Yes, December is a month of thanksgiving. December is a month to show peace, love, and harmony. It's also a month to let go of those things that are hindering your progress. By forgiving, let go, and embrace peace. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. We are not better than those that have gone. It is by His mercy and grace that we are alive. I thank God I'm a living testimony. To the glory of God. So this morning, I want to say Happy New Month to you all out there. And encourage you to do that that will bring peace to your home. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Please remember to hit the preventive measures. Be your brother's keeper. Happy New Month to you with multiple blessings. Let's get straight to business. Today I will be doing a tutorial on a female trouser with flare from the knee level. That's what I will be doing for today. And I will be using this fabric. So let's get straight to business. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. And uh, don't forget to you know, follow us on our Facebook page or on my Instagram page, African Fashion or Styles. So on this tutorial, you can see I already marked out the lines. This is the hip line, this is the crush line, and this is the knee line. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to you know, take the crush line. So for the crush line, I will be using 2.5 to take the crush line. That is the first thing you do. You, use, you can also use 3, depends on individual measurement. But on this, I will be using 2.5. This is the crush line now. So what you do is to give it a cover shape to get the crush. Do next is to take the waist. The waist is a 10 plus 1, 11. You mark. That's the waistline. And the hip is 48. You divide by 4, you have 12. So I will be adding two inches for seam allowance and extra inch in. From the cross line, you can use four inch down. You can use three inch to take the lap. But, but on this, I will be using four inch to take the lap. The lap is 28. Divide by two, you have 14. Plus one inch seam allowance. That's it. You connect it up. So when you get to the knee level, so you reduce with three inches and connect up again. So this is where we are, the flare is going to start from. So what you do is to cut out. So I'm going to use this to cut the back panel now. So this is the back panel and this is the front panel. So what I will be doing next is, remember I said I will be using elastic. So in case you want to fit zip, this is where you fit zip, the front panel. So let's cut out the flare from the knee level. For the knee measurements, I will be using 21. So what you do is very simple. So 21 you divide by, by 2 because one part is for the front panel and the other one is for the back panel so you don't divide by four you divide by two so we have 10 let's see where we're able to get a 10 so i will be using 11 this is where we're able to get 11. so for the length of the flared i will be using 23. 23 you mark out and then connect together so 
so that's it just like cutting out a flare hand so that's it for this for the leg so what i'll be doing next is to go straight to the machine and then stitch you can see i've stitched the front and back panel together so you, you hang on properly fits elastic and so what i will be doing is to fix the flare from the knee level this is the flare mm. so go over to the machine again and join together you can see i'm through with the stitching so what i'll be doing next is to run the base with a overlocking machine that's what i'll be doing now because you know the the base is flared and uh, sometimes it's difficult to you know to run so it's better you use a overlocking machine for smooth work You want to have a smooth walk, just use the locking machine. So I'm through with the stitching, female trouser with elastic on the waist and the bell button. They also call it fellow trouser. Please, if you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. I will see you on my next tutorials. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.